Hey, hello guys, this is Christian. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. So this is an untethered jailbreak, and when it's untethered, you need to plug your iPhone into or iPod into your computer to turn it on if it turns off. And um, yeah, so unfortunately, this doesn't work for uh, uh, iPhone 4s and iPad 2, but it do, it it does work for iPhone 4 3GS. Uh, I put the fourth generation, third generation, and the iPad one. So you can uh, jailbreak for these devices. Um, also, if you have a previous previously firmware like uh, let's say 4.3.5, or even iOS 5, just the iOS 5.0, if you have that firmware and you want to get the new one and jailbreak it, what you want to do is go to your uh, iTunes and restore it but wait before you restore it you need to sync everything up to your computer so you need to click on your iPod or iPhone and click transfer purchased so what that will do that will sync everything up to your computer so you don't lose any date applications or contacts or anything so after you transfer everything from your iPod or iPhone to your computer you want to restore it and what that will do, that will update to the newest software, that will download the newest software, and then it will restore your iPod and install the newest software. So, and also you want to set it as a new iPod Touch or iPhone. You want to say as a new, not from a backup. Okay, and also if you have a, uh, uh, if you have firmware on your iPhone or iPod, if you have firmware four. I mean 5.0.1 if you have that firmware but tethered jailbreak um, you can still have the untethered I'm just gonna show you now how to get the untethered and through the steps I'm gonna show you what to do if you have a tether one on 5.0.1 okay so let's get started so um, here I'm, uh, this is the right snow this is the uh, folder and uh, the links will be in the description for Windows and Mac and uh, you want to have your iPod plugged into your computer. And uh, let me just close iTunes there. I'll just quit it better. I don't know if you need to quit it, but still. So let's open it now. And hit jailbreak. And here it says to put your iPod or iPhone into DFU mode. So to put it in DFU mode, you're going to hold the uh, power button for about three seconds. And then uh, continue holding the power button hold also the home button for about 10 seconds and then continue holding the uh, home button as long as it says to so uh, let's just click next and show you the process so we'll click next there hold the power button three and then hold this one and um, I think it's gonna turn off now there we go one and Continue holding the home button. So there, I put the 3G. Explaining with Lime Rain. So it's putting a Lime Rain on and uploading first stage, second stage, waiting for a boot, and still hold your uh, home button. Preparing jailbreak date. So now it's going to put all the jailbreak stuff on the iPod. Let's wait for that. So, uh, yeah, you can release the home button now. And here it says you can install, if you have 5.0.1 but tethered, you don't want to tick this, the install CD, because you already have CD and you don't need one. So, uh, I have the new software and I don't have Cydia and I want this, I want a Cydia, I want Cydia I don't want a custom uh, bundle and I want to enable battery percentage so click next I'm waiting for reboot Plugging RAM disk so um, now it's downloading the jailbreak date and you should have that icon on and I don't know how that long how, how much long is that gonna take and see here's the code and um, the rest of the process takes place on your device and it's done now. So don't unplug it, still have this. And um, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna pause this video now. So it's finishing with the coding thing and this icon of a pineapple should come on. 
and it will move now all the applications uh, so I don't know how that one's gonna take the thing with the codes took about like two minutes and yeah so that icon should come up and you should wait for the icons to I mean icons what am I saying icons you, you should wait for the applications to move and uh, yeah let's just wait for that and I'll pause right now so yeah there your iPod is job open now um, it should reboot after the uh, pineapple icon and after it installs everything it should reboot and uh, yeah mine should reboot it and it's charging now and uh, it will lag a bit because my iPad is kind of laggy and uh, yeah there we go I have Cydia and uh, let's open that up to see if it's Cydia yes here and I prefer to choose, uh, there's three options, user, hacker, and developer. I choose developer because there's more options. And uh, yeah, you're done. You probably need to sell some updates in Cydia. But yeah, you're done. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. If it helped you, uh, click the like button below and comment if you want to. And if you like more stuff like this, you can subscribe to our channel. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Peace.